What's up everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Living in Alberta, my name is Kyle. Today we're gonna to take a look at one of the hidden gems in central Alberta. Let's take a look at Lacombe, Alberta. All right, let's get right into it. Lacombe is definitely one of these small little cities in central Alberta in the Red Deer area. It is really a gem. People absolutely love it here. There's been many times where I've recommended people go check out Lacombe and they thank me so much. They think the city is so cute. It's got so much character. They love it. It's a beautiful little city. Now, obviously it isn't for everyone. I've had a couple people say, Oh no, no, it's not for me. But if you're considering the Red Deer area, maybe you don't want to live in the big city, you know, you want to be able to live outside, but you still want a viable commute, Lacombe is definitely a really good option and one that you should absolutely consider. Now it's got about 15,000 people. Now there's some other places within the area like Sylvan Lake, it has a bigger population, it doesn't have a city status. As soon as Lacombe could apply for city status, I believe it was at, you can do that at 10,000 people, Lacombe jumped on it. They went ahead, they became a city. So it really is a great little area, but let's talk about one of the pros of living in this area. First off, pretty obvious if you're looking on a map, it is a very great location. So it is located right along Highway 2. You're about 20 to 25 minutes north of Red Deer and then about an hour north you can be in Edmonton. So if there's something in the small city that you can't find, it really is a super quick trip into Red Deer, very quick trip. There's lots of people that I used to work with when I worked on the fire department that would make the commute, you know, on our four days on, four days off. Or if you want to rip up to Edmonton, West Edmonton Mall, whatever it is, very quick trip or catch a flight out of the airport up there. Now Lacombe, you could probably be down in Calgary in roughly an hour and 45 minutes. Still super quick trip to the mountains, so it is a day trip. And one of the nice things about living in the area too, we talked about this many times on the channel, you do have a really quick drive over to Sylvan Lake. So one of the most popular lakes within central Alberta, very popular tourist area, which is great to have easy access to it. So Lacombe, is super central. It's pretty much in the same location as Red Deer. If you're looking for an area that is, you know, about as central as you can get, Lacombe is definitely an awesome option. It is the best location, hands down. And as a reminder, everyone, I am a licensed realtor in the province, so if you do need help making the move to the area, you can use this information popping up, screenshot it, do whatever you have to, get a hold of me any way you like. All right, let's move along to one of the next pros of living in Lacombe, Alberta. Now let's talk about the culture and the diversity of this small little city. First off, let's talk about the town itself. Now, the downtown of Lacombe, every time I refer someone to go check out Lacombe, they absolutely love it. They use words like it's so cute, it's got so much character, it's quaint. Now, obviously it's not for everybody. I've had one or two people tell me that it's not for them, but 95% of the people, they're like, thank you so much for referring me to this small town. Now, if we look at the downtown core, it feels like you step back into the turn of the 20th century. It has all these old Edwardian buildings. It's an historic downtown. It's actually won a lot of awards. And it's kind of the cornerstone of it is this flat iron building on a triangular lot. It's the oldest flat iron building in Western Canada. It is just an amazing downtown. Like I said, it feels like you step back into the past. There's a little kind of street where there's lots of bars and patios to have a drink or go have some dinner. So a really cool spot to hang out in the summertime. And another really cool thing about Lacombe's downtown and the city itself is that it's the mural capital of Alberta. So there is murals painted all over the buildings downtown that outline the city's history. It just gives this city a ton of character. You combine that with the old buildings downtown, it just gives off an amazing vibe. So people love this area. Now some other cool things that are key to the diversity in this small little city in central Alberta is that it does have a university. It's called Berman University. It is owned by the Seventh-day Adventist Church. You don't have to be part of the religion to attend there. And it attracts people from all over the country. I've talked to people from the Yukon, all the way out in Montreal to Vancouver. So people come from all over. So it just injects a little bit more diversity into this city than you normally would get. So if you're looking for a smaller city that's got a lot of culture to it, again, People love this place. I love Lacombe personally. I think it's an amazing little town. Every time I'm there, I think it's just beautiful. 
and we'll get into that next but definitely a place that you might want to consider i like to move in move in i like to move in now let's talk about the next pro about living in lacombe and in my opinion i think that lacombe is a beautiful city sometimes in the area you know there's certain areas for example red deer you have the luscious river valley and all the walking trails it has all that going for it in sylvan lake you have the lake and the lake shore for in places like black falls in my opinion even though i think it's a great little city a great little town people love it there it's great for young families i think it's a little bit bland when it comes to walking trails and just having like bodies of water and big old growth trees this is what i love about lacombe if you look on a map you think oh man it's like right in the prairies this is going to be just boring here but it has so many bodies of water, Crana Lake, Barnett Lake, and all around them are connected paved walking trails. So great if you're trying to get out with the family, if you just love getting out and walking. And so many of the streets have these just massive old growth trees. You turn down a street and the tree branches are so big that they just basically form a ceiling on the street and they're really cool to see. Now, if you do have a young family, I definitely suggest if you're living there, even if you're in Red Deer, wherever you are, you come check out the Lacombe Corn Maze. It is just west of Highway 2, about five minutes west of Lacombe. This place is absolutely amazing. Even I love going there myself. My daughters love it. You can do so many different things there and spend the day. You can, there's these huge pillow trampolines. Obviously there's the corn maze itself all different types of games. And anyways, we'll just show you some footage. You really wanna check this place out if you do have young kids or if you're just looking for some way to spend the day. Let's go to park! Yes, yes, yes! Now some other cool things about this city is that it's still really, really affordable. The median detached price in 2023 was $348,000. So that is not expensive at all. That is way below the provincial average. It's a really safe, community is also very quiet it does have i wouldn't say it's an older demographic but there's definitely an older demographic in lacombe compared to a lot of the other areas in the city or in the central alberta for example blackfalls very young demographic there however it is still a great place for young families and it does have its own hospital so i get asked this question a lot black falls doesn't have a hospital it's fairly close to red deer so you get the ambulance from red deer responding to calls out there sylvan lake doesn't have a hospital now, it's also very close to Red Deer, but I get asked this question a lot, so Lacombe does have its own hospital. Where the hell is that deadbeat hospital? Find out. All right, now let's dive into some of the potential or perceived cons or negatives of living in Lacombe. Now we talked about the affordability, $348,000 for the median detached price this year, 2023. Super, super affordable. However, where you're gonna get kicked in the butt in Lacombe is on the property taxes. They are pretty high here. Actually, in all the cities in Alberta, Lacombe has the second highest property taxes coming in just behind Wetaskiwin. Now, lots of times I will send people a home coming off the MLS and on that sheet, they have the property tax information and they ask me, is this correct? I'm like, yep, that is correct. Lacombe does have really high property taxes. So sometimes people are surprised by it. 1.145% on the assessed value. So if you're looking at a home that costs $500,000, you're gonna pay roughly $5,723 for the year in property taxes, which is not cheap. So definitely something to consider, super affordable. Homes are very affordable here, but you are going to get bent over a barrel when it comes to property taxes. I know Bert Hansen. I like the cut of his jib. And I do admire the way he bent you three idiots over a barrel and showed you the 50 states. Bah, see, told you it was a saying. So don't be shocked when you move here and you move into your house and you're like, Kyle, what the hell? property taxes are high. All right, now let's talk about kind of the second perceived negative living in Lacombe. Now we talked about it being super quiet, which for a lot of people, that's exactly what they're looking for. But for some people, it can be too quiet out there. So there is zero nightclubs. There's no nightlife scene. They have a couple pubs and you know lounges that you can go to but zero nightclubs within this city, which is, you know, it's got 15,000 people. I think it could definitely have at least one nightclub. Maybe it's because of that older again demographic, who knows, and lots of things in Lacombe, you know, they can be closed by six o'clock. Lots of things are closed on a Sunday. So if you need something, you're gonna have to head into Red Deer or wherever it is. However, it's not that big of a deal. Like I said before, 20 minutes, you can be within the city, but it is, very quiet there it's got a super laid back feel so some people can really love this 
or for some people, it can just be a little bit too quiet. A place a little slower where you can get things done at your own pace. All right, let's move along to the next one. Potential negative, potential con. Let's talk about the things that I think Lacombe is lacking. And first off, I do think for a city that it is lacking in a few amenities. It doesn't have a lot of big box stores. Now you can look at this one of two ways. A lot of the local businesses, they love that there's not a lot of the big box stores there. There's no Canadian Tire, there's no Walmart. And if you are a local business owner, that means that they're not gonna take from your business. However, lots of places that are similar in size and population, they already have things like Canadian Tire and Walmart. So there is none of this stuff there. Lacombe was actually set to get a Canadian Tire. However, with Schmovid and all that shit that happened, deadlines weren't met, so it's been delayed. It's actually coming, who knows when. Could be a few years down the road, but it's actually the largest market in Canada that does not, one of the largest markets in Canada that does not have a Canadian Tire. How about that fact? Now it does have a lot of cool local businesses. It's got some great little restaurants like Lido's and Cilantro and Chive. Small business owners love this, but if you're someone who wants to be close to the big box stores, you're gonna have to go into Ready Fart, which isn't a huge deal. I mean, you can be at Costco in a lot of these places. You don't have to go within the city. It's just a straight shot down highway too. So, Something you wanna consider for sure. And a couple other things that I wanna to touch on when it comes to Lacombe, when you're trying to figure out where you wanna live within this small little city, the airport is actually within the town itself. So just on the north side of the city, you have this small little airport and there are some neighborhoods that directly border against it from the west. Now it's not a super busy airport. It's not like when the planes take off, it's just small little aircraft. There's no commercial flights. It's not super disruptive, but definitely something you wanna consider if you're looking at buying in that area. I always tell people, look up Google Maps, although nobody ever does. So when they send me listings, I have to be devil's advocate, pull this stuff up and be like, yo, look, you're looking at a house that's literally backing onto the airport. Do you want to live there? And they're like, oh, I didn't even realize. And there is a train that runs just along 2A north to south, which heads down to Black Falls and down into Red Deer. So again, super important to be mindful of these things. They can blow that horn quite a bit. Sometimes it does get super annoying. I don't think it's as bad as the train in Black Falls. For some reason, that train in Black Falls, I don't know what happens there, but they blow that horn all the time. So definitely a couple things to consider. This little town, it's hard to find cons, so I'm kind of grasping at straws when I talk about the train and stuff like that. Airport is definitely one to consider too, for sure though. But this town, the city, is a hidden gem in central Alberta. Check it out if you're looking at moving to the area. Don't just get focused on Red Deer. If you want to live in one of the surrounding communities too, there's lots of options and Lacombe is definitely one of the best options out of all of them. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and click the notification bell so you're notified every week when a new video comes out. And of course, screenshot it if you would like any help with real estate needs. I'm a realtor in the province. Use a simple popping up. Get a hold of me any way you like. Cheers.